Hello, my name is Dr. Roger Welton, President and Attending Veterinarian at Maybach Animal Hospital. Today I'm going to talk to you about the SPAY procedure, which is the surgical removal of the female reproductive tract, specifically the ovaries and uterus. The SPAY is extremely important because not only does it prevent unwanted pregnancy and heat cycles, it also is integral in preventing mammary cancer, which is extremely common in intact female dogs. It also prevents the life-threatening complication of heat cycles later in life called pyometra. A very wise surgical professor of mine in veterinary school had a really important statement about the spay procedure, also known as the ovarohysterectomy. The spay procedure is a serious surgery where we actually go into the abdomen and we have to tie off major blood supply. And what he stated was that while we routinely do spays, there's nothing routine about them and we need to treat them as a serious surgery that they are. As a facility that is accredited by the American Animal Hospital Association, we perform our spays, as everything else, by the university standard. That includes placement of an intravenous catheter where we can provide intravenous fluids to maintain blood pressure and also have an open port to administer life-saving medications if necessary. Upon anesthesia induction, we place an endotracheal tube which protects the patient's airway and also gives us a port by which we administer oxygen and gas anesthesia. The endotracheal tube also enables us to give breaths to the patient if necessary. The patient is clipped and scrubbed aseptically to maintain the utmost sterile environment. Once in the operating room, we maintain sterile aseptic technique where everyone is wearing a cap and mask, the surgeon is wearing a gown and is fully scrubbed. Following the procedure, a dedicated technician will stay with the patient until she is fully extubated and determined to be 100% stable. Upon discharge, the patient will be fitted with an e-collar to prevent licking of the incision, and she will also be discharged with pain medication to make sure she remains comfortable throughout the entirety of her recovery.